everybody. Thanks for blushing around with me again here on Friday. And this week we are doing recreation looks um, of album covers. Now, my personal genre that I chose was rock slash metal. Um, I do normally lean towards the very new age or hardcore metal. And looking at a lot of their album covers, most of the ones that I have are all black with a little bit of white or a little bit of red. So I wanted to do a look that... Well, I could have done that. I wanted to do a look that you guys probably would have been able to wear more of you rather than just doing the heavy black. So this is the look that I am doing, and it is featuring this album cover. Okay, so that was it. That was The Open Door by Evanescence. I do also like her, so I figured that would be a little bit more user-friendly for everybody, so I hope you enjoy it. Hey everybody, so I've already got my Too Faced Shadow Insurance here, and I have that applied on my lid. I do have a piece of tape here too. If you watch my other channel, you see me use this sometimes. It's normally when I'm on my way to work, which is what's going on right now. Basically, all this is, in case you've not seen this before, over here, how you see how it has that, that line? This basically creates the line without you having to do it on your own, so it just takes a little less time. And then next, I am going to take a gel eyeliner. This is from Pure Minerals. This is Coffee Quartz. This is a deep brown, so anything in a deep brown color would work. Grab a little bit right on the tip of my finger and then apply this too. So it's kind of like putting a double base, but this is going to help to create kind of that smoky look over here and you actually end up using less products. So take that and apply that to the lid just below your natural crease. You don't really want to go into your crease too much. So now you've got that nice smoky brown. <coughs> oh. Okay. Next I am going to... There we go. I'm going to start with this color right here. This is from Glamour Doll Eyes, and this is called Gold Digger. So I'm going to start with a little bit of that, and I'm actually going to apply that right above. Oh, let me get a different brush here. Okay, so I'm going to apply that right above where we just put that liner, the gel liner. And you don't want a whole, whole lot. There's not a lot of gold in this picture, but there's enough that I at least wanted to get it on there. Okay, so now I've got the gold directly above. Next, I am going to go in with this color right there. That's Dirty Jeans. This is also from Glamour Doll Eyes. Gather just a little bit and put that directly beneath the gold. So you kind of have these three stripes, and then we're going to blend everything together. So now that you've got it underneath, just kind of work it in, blend it a little bit. Blend it up into the gold a little bit, so it looks a little bit better. I'm going to take just a little bit more because I really want this blue to be apparent. Okay, now I've got that. Then I am going to go in with Vintage, that's this brown color right here. And this is what's going to go right, pretty much right where we had just paid uh, place that gel liner, if I could talk. So you want a good amount of this. Start at the base of your lash line and then just blend it up. You can use circular motions, windshield wiper, whatever you want. But just really blend it up. Because you just really want to smoke out the eye. And since I am going to work, I want to make sure this is looking a little bit even. Okay. Bring that up. I'm going to take just a little bit more of that blue just because I can see that I need it. Okay, so now you've got that. Next I'm going to take a pretty stiff brush. This is similar to the other ones that I were using, this dome one, but this happens to be incredibly, incredibly stiff. And I am going to get Urban Trash. It's this color right here, that nice black. Just a little bit and apply that right at the lash line and blend it up. So what that's going to do is that's just going to darken the brown a little bit right at the base, which means no eyeliner. Okay, 
So now I've pretty much built the colors up. So you pretty much, you know, you had your base, then we just smoked it up. Next, I am going to take from MAC Your Ladyship, which is what I love to use as my highlight color. That's this color right here. Oh. And I'm going to get that on my brush. You can just use any highlight that happens to work with your own skin tone. There we go. And apply that right underneath your brow. And this is just a highlight that's just going to blend everything all together. And then for directly under my brow to kind of accent it, or highlight it, I'm sorry, a little bit, I'm going to take this color. This is Valentine. It's a bright, bright white. As you can see, the glitter is not really picking up, but there are tiny, tiny um, glitter flecks in red. So it works really well, especially if you are a pink-based person like me and your skin tone. So it just really helps to give a nice angle. There you go. Next, I'm going to take the tape off, again, being sure not to pull. And you see how now you have that line? That's what I was saying, but like, it's just an easy it's just a cheater way. And then I'm going to take a Q-tip, or you can take a brush, and you just kind of want to fan this out because you don't want to walk around with that line because that just looks bad. Fan it out a little bit so it looks a little more natural. And then underneath... You can, if you want, if you need this to like really, really stay, you can go ahead and apply that gel eyeliner underneath. Um, for me, for my skin, it's, it's not super oily, so I don't need to do that. So that's just your discretion. I am going to go back in with Vintage. That was that nice brown color. And I'm going to apply that right underneath my lower lash line. Get some over here. A little bit more over here, okay? So now you've got it all smoked up here. Next, I'm going to take a brown liner. This one happens to be in Bourbon. This is from Urban Decay. It's a nice brown liner. It also has some slight gold flecking to it. And just apply that on your lower waterline. You want a nice brown liner and on your upper waterline as well. I kind of already did this, so. But you can go ahead and apply it there. And lastly, go ahead and um, apply your mascara. The one that I am using is from Lash Fusion. Love this. It has collagen in it, and it also nourishes and conditions the lashes. Okay, so now that you have that applied. Then I'm going to take a little bit of bronzer. This one is from Sue Devitt. Good luck on that name because I have no idea how to say it, but it is a place. I've been told many times and I just can't remember, but that's what it's called. And this is what it looks like. It's really nice. It's okay for pasty people too as long as you only grab a little bit. Apply the slight contour. Then I'm going in with Heatherette's from MAC Alpha Girl for my blush color right on the cheeks and then for the lips I just use Pretty Please from MAC, from MAC. if you are not pink based like me Pretty Please would look kinda weird so you can use Myth, that's this color right here so that's it, that's the overall look I hope you guys enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you next time